Good morning. It's day 63. And hopefully getting to Kennedy Meadows North today. The sleeping pad patch, the third patch, still did not hold. Um, luckily I have two sleeping pads, the foam and the inflatable. But we were giving the foam to Mariah because her pad got a hole in the same place the night before. But luckily, Tom and Kate each have a foam pad and a blow-up pad. So we've had more than enough sleeping pads to share with those deflators. But today, we are frolicking through more snow. It's not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was literally 100% snow or river or water or wetness. So today seems a little bit drier and we will be able to hopefully call Kennedy Meadows for a ride when we get to the road crossing at Sonora Pass because their shuttle isn't quite running yet because the first group of hikers came in the day before yesterday or yesterday when we called them we had service on um, Dorothy Lakes Pass and uh, yeah it looks like we're the second group through the Sierras. Sierra, Sierras, whatever you guys call it. Let's go to Kennedy Meadows North, shall we? So about two miles from camp, I dropped an AirPod out of my AirPod case when it fell out of my pocket and I, it landed closed. Another mile later, I realized that it had fallen out. So I ran back the mile, then ran ahead a mile, and now we are starting the steep climb up Sonora. Not really steep, but just kind of long. And, uh, oh, a butterfly. butterfly. <laughs> just a monarch. Well, that is pretty. Um, <laughs> I thought it was a bird. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, we have about what? 10 miles? We've done 5.6. So about 10 miles to Sonora Pass. And we're hoping that the snow dries up. As you can see, like up there, there's not a lot of snow. So we're hoping, but then again, over here, there is. So we're going up like this way. So we'll see if we get a dry climb. So far it has not been. Has been more dry than yesterday already. So that's, something but yeah doing those extra two miles sometimes just puts a little a little less pep in your step because I ran the entire time so up we go to Sonora Pass and to Kennedy Meadows did we just cut in a half mile of footprints on a sketch traverse Woohoo! We're so cool! I got a socket here. <laughs> I got stuff. <laughs> so we are at Kennedy Meadows North. We got a ride in at about 2.30 and we've showered, resupplied, washed our hair, and now we're going to eat some dinner before we head back out tomorrow. But we're at the bunkhouse slash store slash restaurant and enjoying the amenities.
day 64, waking up in Kennedy Meadows North, packing our packs for the first time without bear cans since Kennedy Meadows South. And it's like the pack was meant to not have a bear can in it. Uh, much smaller, which means we can carry more snacks. Um, we'll be getting a ride back to trail here in a little while. It was really nice here. Easy resupply. Um, there's a nice bunk room that we all slept in and it's nice and warm and the word on the street is that there's not too much more snow north of here so I guess we'll find out. All right so Mariah's um, sleeping pad popped a few days ago and this was given gifted to her. Cowboy gave me this. It looks like it's like rubber. Oh my god. <laughs> but it's better than nothing. <laughs> All right, we are back and we are on dirt for now. We have gone about eight miles, so climbed up and over Sonora Pass. It has been about 80, 75 to 80% snow trudging with some like deeper sloshing, a little bit of like post holy -ness. But we're finally like, as you can see, starting to get some like dirt around us. Um, so that's, whoop. That's a little reassuring that we shouldn't have too much more absolute snow. Um, kind of tired today, but that always happens when you don't zero. We can't zero in every town. I mean, you can, but... but... yeah. But it's a beautiful day. The weather is gorgeous. Not too hot. No wind. Nice and sunny. And, uh, No complaints. I think we're gonna just... Man just gonna do as many miles as we can today until we're tired, and then hopefully we'll only have 60 miles to, uh, Tahoe. And we can do 320s and be to Tahoe and officially done with the Sierra section of trail. Summary for today was up, down, up, down, up. <laughs> And as much as we thought the snow was going to go away, it did peter out towards the end of the day. Um, saw some bear prints in the afternoon, so... Mm -hmm. And lots of bear skiat. <laughs> we could scat better than that. Okay. Okay. Um, Kind of warm tonight, but we'll see when it actually, like when the sun goes down. And we got to camp at like 5.30, so we've just been kind of hanging out. It's almost 8 o'clock now, so. Not much today. We did a shorter day, about 14 miles. And then we have 60 miles on the nose to the highway into Lake Tahoe, South Lake Tahoe. So we're hoping that the snow will continue, continue to be petered and we can do some bigger miles because it felt really good to hike on dirt today like I didn't realize how fast you could actually hike because we'd been Remember in we used to be able to do three miles in an hour yeah we used to go to do three miles an hour now it's like we're lucky if we can do two and a half but fingers crossed that the snow continues to melt and it continues to get warmer and good night morning day 65 snow elusive trail every time we GPS back to it five seconds later it's like all the way over there so it's just a lot of back and forth um, it was really warm last night we might be seeing the days of our all-layered sleeping system 
in the past. And hopefully today, the snow will continue to dissipate. Right now it's not looking too promising, but fingers crossed. So when we got to Ebbets Pass, a wonderful trail angel named Lawrence had brought us snacks and, and drinks and stuff, and so he offered to bring some of us down here to Markleyville, which we was not on our radar. But now we're gonna go eat some food and try to, there's a campground just outside of town, so we might go outside of town and- uh, Celebrate your birthday. Celebrate my birthday, we got some drinks. And uh, yeah, just enjoying the unexpected visit to town. It's very small, like seven buildings, but it's very beautiful. <laughs> so uh, we went to Cutthroat Brewing in Markleyville and uh, literally every person in the brewery recognized us all from our different YouTubes and our Instagrams. Um, and so we got gifted some free food and we ate some yummy dinner. And then we were, we met the host of this camp, which is the Toyoba National Campground. It's just at the bottom of the road before you go into town. And his name is Gunny, which shout out, my nephew's name is Gunny, so we bonded over that. And he's letting us camp here for $11, normally 22. But I'm a veteran and I have a parks pass. So he said, if any of y'all have a parks pass, which I do, we got a discount. So for $11, we have a bear can, a fire ring, a picnic table, bathrooms, and this beautiful babbling river behind us. We um, are gonna camp here for the night, and then I think he said he'll give us a ride back to the trailhead in the morning. So, kind of just turned into be a wonderful evening. Um, not usually our style, we just kind of had the trial angel there at the pass, he offered us a ride into town, and uh, that's where we ended up. So, tomorrow's my 33rd birthday, and uh, pretty excited because, you know, we get to wake up here and, uh, yeah. We're going to have a few beers and then head to bed. So let me turn my so off. apparently, according to some American lady, this would tickle the simple British boy. Because <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Apparently it's magical. It's flu powder. <laughs> Good old Potter. Where do you want to go? Ron Weasley. Wow! Nothing happens. Did it, oh, it's a little green of the littlest bit. Ooh. 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 I love this. Oh, look, it's turning blue now. <laughs> and green.